Hello and welcome back. This is video number three and let's talk about broad niche and specific posts. Basically how to set your profile up in such a way that it attracts the right person. And it'll make more sense as I dive into this. So now that we've discussed why branding and attracting a very specific person is important, the question is how do we attract them? Well, your main profile should cover a broad niche, and that's why this is titled Broad Niche and Specific Post. So what does that look like? Well, it shouldn't be too broad, but it should be broad enough that it tracks a specific person of a specific mindset. And then, of course, your content posts, which are your pictures, then should be more specific. Now, while that makes common sense, I'm actually going to jump in. I'm going to show you how to actually do things in just a minute. So here's what I mean. Let's say you're targeting scuba diving. All right. So if that's the case, you should use a general or broad keyword related to scuba diving. Now, if you want to do scuba diving, that's fine. Maybe you want to do something more specific, like like you're just scuba diving masks all right so you can focus just in on that as your broad niche keyword but you don't want to be too specific because you want to attract somebody of a similar mindset so in that case you might want to do like a scuba diving profile now if you're a company that's a little different if you're a personal lifestyle you can go a little bit more broad with a personal lifestyle so with a with a company, you kind of have to do it a little bit more specific. But if it is specific for your profile, your posts need to be more specific. Now, I'm going to I'm going to show you different ways and different tools that you can use to actually break things down so that you can brainstorm more specific keywords. And that way, instead of just posting to post, you have a reason to post and then you have the, the ability to post things that people actually want. All right. So we're going to use Google suggest keywords and I'm going to show you in a minute how to actually do all of this. All right. So this will allow you to find high demand, high search keywords that people really want. And you're not just thinking, OK, this is something that I feel like is going to work. You're actually using actual data from Google that actually says that these are keywords that people want to know, all right? So that way, instead of figuring things out yourself, you're just taking a look really quick. You're, as you'll see in just a minute, we're gonna do it really quick. You're gonna have it in hand, and you're basically gonna have a roadmap to actually, actually what to do, basically. And you can use this later on. So for now, let me jump right in, and let me go ahead and show you this in action. So obviously, before you can do this, you need to have an idea of what you want to sell, right? So that way, it'll tell you whether you need to do scuba diving mask that is a little bit more specific, but yet a general, or you need to just do a widespread scuba diving, very, very general, right? So you need to know that before you actually do this research, because it's just going to make life a lot easier if you do it this way so let's say for example that we're going to do scuba diving we don't really care about the masks or anything like that so all you do is just type in scuba diving and then you can scroll all the way down to the very bottom and you're going to see the following so you're going to see scuba diving gear scuba diving meaning equipment facts dangers goa whatever that is and then videos and difference between scuba diving and snorkeling and all of that. So you could even go further and type scuba diving gear and see what you find here. So we can go down to the very bottom again. And these are basically Google suggested keywords. That means that there is a very high demand for these keywords. That means people are searching for these keywords. So you could take these and you could break them down and you could say, okay, my profile is targeting scuba diving. So what you could do is make sure that you focus on 
uh, maybe different types of gear packages, gear or tanks, different equipment and all that, and how that integrates into your lifestyle. Obviously, if you're going to do scuba diving and that's part of your lifestyle, then hopefully, you know, you're teaching something that you're already familiar with. So that's going to be a lot easier. You just take pictures of your scuba diving gear. Now, if you're doing this for like affiliate marketing and you're not really scuba diving, then of course you kind of have to get creative. And then of course you can go to places like I said, like big stock photo and find images. So how about I do that just right now? So this is bigstockphoto.com and let's say we'll type in scuba diving. Now, what I mentioned earlier about styles is if you go through here, you'll notice, you'll start to begin to notice there's a very specific style because different artists, different photographers are different, right? So maybe you really like a certain picture. So if you click on it, Big Stock Photo will actually tell you who the contributor is. In this case, it is Rich Carey. So if you click here, you can actually see all of the photos by him. So then your, your pictures actually begin to look very similar. Somebody looks at it and they're like, okay, the style is very similar and therefore the brand is very similar. The problem is a lot of times if you're, you're, you're picking and choosing different photos from different authors, they look totally different and then it kind of creates this uneasiness right so people don't know how to say it or they don't know how to explain it but they just feel uneasy so that's why when you let's say you have specific keywords that you find and you want to make sure that the images that match that also match each other right because at the end of the day with Instagram it's big in images so people will judge you by often the nine images that show up on your profile first so you might want to take a look at these bigstockphoto.com or shutterfly or are these other royalty free image sites so that's what i would do as far as finding you know keywords starting with the broad keyword which is very easy that's whatever you want to sell and then breaking it down from that point on now another tool that you could use is the google keyword planner but honestly i feel like this is the easiest way to do things plus you're also seeing the suggest keywords which are what people actually are typing in a good amount of. Now, you could also use other suggest search engines like Amazon.com. So let's go over there for now. So Amazon.com is a great place to go to simply because if you notice, if you type here, let's say scuba diving. So as you are about to complete the sentence, you can see that it also gives you suggestions like scuba diving equipment, fins, regulator, mask, lights, computer and knife and equipment package. So Amazon, as you know, people go here to buy products and goods. So they're more likely to show you what is actually profitable. So you can get keywords from here. You can also go to places like eBay, you can go to Walmart, you can go, even go to youtube.com to get an idea of what people are looking for. You can also go to Instagram as well. So this is kind of how you can figure out the specific posts. And from here, you can break it down even further. So for example, let's say scuba diving mask. So we type in scuba diving mask and you can see that it breaks it down further. Scuba diving mask and snorkel, diving mask set case for kids, frameless, defogger, strap, strap cover, and GoPro mount. So you could even break it down further. Let's say, let's say strap, let's see what we get. So sometimes it'll stop at that point. So set, dive it. So let's just take a look at scuba diving mass and see what we get. And from there, you can figure out, okay, these items are selling the most. Maybe I'll do a lifestyle review on that or something. And there you go. That's basically all you have to do. Nothing complex, and I didn't want to make it complex at all. So, like I said, just a quick recap. Number one, get your main keyword. Number two, get your specific keywords. And turn those specific keywords into specific posts. 
For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.